And Vanguard. any bad guys that get in our way and try and stop us, we're going to blow a big hole right in their butt. So that way they have two holes in their butt. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have two major tasks to complete. Uh, the first one is that we're going to create a little convoy, and we are going to escort that convoy up into Boron Space to deliver some parts for the shipyard. And then the second thing is we're going to make a major purchase. We're going to buy ourselves a Rattlesnake Destroyer, and we're going to also buy a 10 Chimera Wing Squadron to escort uh, the, uh, the Destroyer. Uh, so let's take a look and see where we are financially. Uh, right now we're sitting at 108.3 million in the wallet. If we go to Reaver Industries um, and grab whatever they currently have, that adds another 2 million or so to us. So now we're, we're up to 110. Uh, we have a net worth currently of 320.6 million. So we're doing really well. The empire is growing and that's fan freaking tastic. Okay, so I've pulled all of the station haulers off of their normal duty, which is to sell for the station. They're all sitting at uh, uh, on the dock right now waiting to load up for our little caravan here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab station hauler one and transfer wares with Reaver Industries and have you grab a load of Claytronics. We'll confirm that. Um, station hauler two. Transfer wares with Reaver Industries, and oh, I'm just going to have them grab Claytronics, too. We must... Uh, are we out of Claytronics? Let's take a look. Uh, logical overview. Claytronics. Yes, we are completely out of Claytronics. Okay, well, that at least we'll be able to bring them one load. I don't think we have to bring everything they want in, in the quantities they want, just some of each, maybe. Okay, so that means station hauler two. Uh, let's have you grab a load of energy cells. We'll have station hauler three also grab a load of energy cells. We'll have station hauler four grab some hull parts. Oh, hull parts are not available. We saw those in the in the list, though. Logical overview. Hull parts. Oh, it's because they're already sold. Okay, so we have an we have an incoming um, NPC ship coming to buy those, so they're not available to us. All right, that makes sense. Fair enough. Um, so if that's the case, then why don't we do this? Why don't we have station hauler four? Grab water. And I don't know why this is red with an exclamation mark. Uh, we have a lot of water. We have like way more water than we need. So I'm not sure what that means or why it's there. Um, five and six. Let's... I already got hall parts in the thingy. Um. So where could we... Purchase some hull parts at a good price. Oh, look at that. Right here at the hull part factory for a really good price. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell hauler 5 to go get a load of hull parts at that really good price. And we'll also have hauler 6 do the same thing. Confirm. Okay, good. And so when those guys load up on the hall parts, uh, then we will have them rendezvous with the rest of us, and we'll head out and head to Boron Space and deliver these parts. So that way we're, we're bringing them a, a little something of everything they want, uh, which is Claytronics, energy cells, hall parts, and water. Okay. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let's have the other uh, four haulers join Nemesis 1 in a follow squadron and we'll add them to beta and then we'll also have five and six join that too as soon as they get their parts and then we will escort them uh, to boron space to deliver to deliver this stuff i am going to do that directly because i've been doing a lot of empire management not a whole lot of flying and i want to actually do a little bit of flying so 
uh, we will teleport to the Nemesis here and take over for the pilot. Nemesis. And Vanguard. any bad guys that get in our way and try and stop us, we're going to blow a big hole right in their butt. So that way they have two holes in their butt. Okay, anyway, let's, um, let's see, let's autopilot. turn autopilot Disengage. off. And, um, so let's see, they're going down to the hull part factory down here. So I'm going to, uh, let's just kind of move in that direction so that way we can kind of all rendezvous together. And um, so, yeah, I will bring you guys back uh, with an update as our little convoy progresses. I don't know why this guy is, like, falling so far behind. Um, let's do a live stream view to him. He's just taking his own sweet time. <laughs> so we'll wait for him to catch up before we move into the next sector. It's fun to watch, just kind of chill and watch the live stream view for a while. Okay, so it looks like he's finally here. Okay, let's head through the gate. Entering Brand Exchange for Okay, so we'll just kind of wait here because everybody else is going to slingshot out of there too. And then we'll wait for everybody to get grouped back up here. Looks like we're all together. Let's move to the next uh, gate. Okay, this time it worked a little bit better. They, all, uh, all of the freighters used their travel drives. Still had the one straggler though, but he's not too far behind. I think they're close enough for us to proceed, so let's do it. Entering system. 18 billion. And they're through. All right, cool. Looks like we're all together. Silent Witness is the next sector. Let's go.
Just went through the freaking gate and our last straggler hauler was harassed by a pirate. So let's go back and show Entering system. 18 billion. this pirate the error of their ways. Uh, I think it's probably chasing him, so let's just kind of go off this direction. Let's see if we can spot him. There he is. Okay, um, I gotta look at something here really quick. Let's pause. I want to see what key I mapped to to have everybody attack my target. Yeah, wing attack my target, wing resume assignment. Um, let's go ahead and target that mofo. Engaging. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Unauthorized attack, bullshit. These guys are attacking me all the time. Well, yeah, we're not even gonna. Awaiting orders. <laughs> gonna have a chance to get to him. Um, okay, so I guess I don't need to tell them to stop attacking now because he's dead. Awaiting orders. That actually worked out pretty good. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but the, <laughs> the freighters were going after him too. That's funny. Okay, let's get back on track here. All right, guys, we have a cock hive guard that just kind of showed up out of nowhere. So let's go take him out. My fighters are already after him because they're on intercept. They'll probably take him out before we have a chance to get in. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. He'll be tight here. Yeah, he's he's dead. Okay. Awaiting orders. Nice work. Okay, so um I'm a little concerned about this next part. Uh, let's get over to the highway. If my entire convoy takes the highway, we'll be fine. But if they derp out and get off the highway as we go through Hatikva's Choice, we could have problems because that's where the Xenon hang out. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be... I, I mean, yeah, like I said, as long as they take the highway, we'll be fine. But we'll, we're going to have to just see what happens here. Okay, let's see what happens here. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Just as long as they all do that, we're good. Awaiting orders. If that Xenon gets off here with us, he's... Oh, he's... No, okay. It's going to say, if he gets off here, he is so dead. Okay, is everybody here? I'm not worried about the fighters so much. I just want to make sure all the haulers are with us. And they are. Fantastic. All right, let's get out of this sector. And they're through. Nice. That was really the only spot that I was really concerned about. The rest of it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, you know, if we run into the occasional enemy here and there we should be able to deal with them without too much issue okay so guys if nothing else significant happens between now and the time we arrive uh, at the boron shipyard um, i probably won't bring you back but i will have my finger ready on the record button in case something significant does happen otherwise we'll see you in boron space all right guys wouldn't you know it we finally get to great reef and out of nowhere, well, probably not out of nowhere, but uh, this Phoenix Vanguard pops up and tells one of our guys to drop his cargo. So that's not going to fly. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell all of our fighters 
to attack. Um, I'm just going to tell him to attack all surface elements. Just go ham on this dude. And I also pulled my three scouts um, over to me too because they were in this area, but they were done scouting. And let's also have them attack. Uh, specifically, let's have them attack uh, turrets, I guess. All right. These guys now are going to remove all orders and assignments uh, because I want them. Uh, I don't want them following my ship. And I want you guys to just kind of move away from the battle over to here for the moment. And actually, why don't we just give you some waypoints and then come over by the shipyard. Okay. Um, I'm going to target this guy and then we're going to turn around and take him out. Vanguard. I am not familiar with the layout of the ship, so I'm not sure where the turrets are. Something hit us. You are not so good as you think. Okay, there's a shield generator right there. We seem to be safe at this spot here. here. Let's just do a direct target. There we go. I also want my, you to attack my current enemy. Back up a little bit. That's down. Uh, let's take out this engine. Okay, that's done. Uh, more shields here. Shield. All right, let's pause for a second and assess. Because we don't want to be near this thing when it blows. All right, it's got most of its hull left. So we still have a few more shields to take out. Um, well, maybe we don't actually. Uh, there's some more engines. Let's get these engines. down now uh, in terms of being able to move anywhere. I think we're just generally attacking him now. Okay. 
All right, I want to call all fighters off. Remove all orders. And fly away. Same thing for the scouts here. Let them get away. Okay, we have full shields, so we should be able to take this son of a bitch out. Uh, no, no sparing. I am sick and tired of you pirates. Messing with my empire, so there's no sparing. That is not gonna Awaiting happen. Orders. Sorry. Okay. Let's head on over to the shipyard. And our fighters should be here. Let's just remove all orders. And can I do that on the group? Uh -uh. I wish you could. I don't know why you can't, but it seems odd. Uh, is there anything good over here? Micro gimbal. Tell you what, let's have our... Let's have you go over here and collect drops. And maybe you too. Okay, let's head over to the shipyard. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Oh, nice. Look at that. We just got um, nine uh, or four rep, and we're at nine with the Boron now. So I guess they must have witnessed us killing that ship. Very cool. All right, there's the shipyard coming together. And this is the uh, the builder or the build storage here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to tell our traders. To trade. Uh, so, station hauler one, uh, trade with build storage, and give me your claytronics. Station hauler two, trade with build storage, give them your energy cells, and so on and so forth. Uh, are you saying you don't want those extra energy cells? Water. Build storage. Hull parts. And hull parts. Let's go back to Hauler 3 for a second. Yeah, they don't want any more energy cells. Interesting. So, can you just, like, do a normal trade with them? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if we go to here, it's now showing that we have delivered. The Claytronics. Very cool. There's no time limit on this. I don't know, maybe maybe do I have to deliver all this stuff? I want to say, though, that these numbers have gone down since this quest began. They still say they need 702. Ah, okay, so now the energy cells 
are grayed out, which I'm assuming means they have everything they need. So that means you can actually trade with the normal station. Okay. It just hadn't transferred yet. Okay, so it shows we've delivered some water. Still waiting for the whole parts. You know, if, if if this mission does require me to deliver all of this stuff, I might. I'm probably going to get a freighter. I think we'll be able to get the Rattlesnake and the Chimera Squadron and a freighter now, because we're up to 113 mil. Hauler 4 is empty. Hauler 5 still the scan has, been completed. has... And I'm whole pleased to thing. inform you that nothing untoward has been found. All our sixes dropped off. Uh, so let's take a look at this guy as he drops off his freight. So it's actually been a very profitable mission so far, not only monetarily speaking, but we got that rep with the barn, which is great. And we stuck it to the SCA, but... Trust me, we're going to be sticking it to them a lot more here in just a little while. So we've delivered everything now that we can for the quest. And, yeah, I mean, if we had a freighter, we could... Pr I don't know about the water, but I'm sure we could deliver all the claytronics and hull parts in one trip. Looks like we have a fighter with just a tiny bit of damage, so let's go fix that real quick. Pegasus, Vanguard. Uh, yeah. We're on our repair laser. There we go. They're all fixed. Anybody else have a little bit of damage? Looks like the Cerberus has a little bit of damage. All right, let's teleport back to there. Nemesis, Vanguard. Here we go, all repaired. Docking granted. Okay, before we take back the seed, anybody else have damage at all? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, you guys. Well, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to go home and escort our haulers back home. Um, I don't know if the... Actually, you know what? Before we do that, it'd be kind of nice to take some goods back with us so we're not doing a dry run um so super fluid coolant and graphene are both selling for really cheap here in boron space as are refined medical silicon wafers medical supplies even though so well no that stuff is not in boron space that's way back over that way um so we can get graphene and superfluid coolant here for really cheap. So what I think I'll do is try and load up some of my ships with that stuff and take it back uh, with us. So, you know, so we're not doing a dry run. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I'm actually still in Great Reef. Um, after purchasing those uh, goods, uh, we got to Reputation 10 with the Boron. So since we're here, we might as well run over there and... Uh, get that taken care of. So let's teleport to one of our scouts here. And we'll just zip over there real quick and get that done. Pegasus, Vanguard. Sir. 
successfully docked. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. Oh, this is trippy. Receive rank. We have been watching your accomplishments with great interest and believe you deserve a reward for it. Me too. I am pleased to present you with a new rank within the Queendom. You will find that this rank comes with wondrous benefits. These benefits are tied to the rank. So if you lose the rank, the benefits will go too. But with your character, I am sure we have nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. I hope you find these rewards acceptable. Please make the most of them. You may now find that certain organizations within the Boron Queendom will take interest in you joining their ranks. Once again, I thank you for your continued efforts. We look forward to working with you more in the future. Pleasant travels. I love their suits, man. Those things are so cool looking. All right, let's buy a police license from them. Pleasant travels. All right, there we go. Cool. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm going to head on back. And um, when we get here, I'm just going to do this. When we get to um, back home, I'll bring you guys back and we will purchase our rattlesnake. And our chimeras. I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, we are back. Um, I decided that I should actually put my orders in for the rattlesnake and the chimeras right now uh, because I'm sure we're going to probably need extra parts for them. And, excuse me, while I have my traders with me, I think we'll use them to uh, fulfill those orders while we're kind of up near split space. So let's go ahead and go into the map here. And we want to go up to Zyarth's Dominion to the shipyard. Go buy ships, large size, and rattlesnake destroyer. Awesome. Uh, we already have the high preset, but let's look through it again. So we basically have a travel drive on here. Um, the price between the all-arounder and the travel drive is not, you know, there's not a significant difference between the price. Uh, but the all-arounder is going to give us uh, only 2802 travel speed, whereas this is going to give us 31. Eh, I don't know. I mean, there's not a huge difference. 2802 is still pretty fast for a large ship. I mean, that's around the speed that the uh, that the Nemesis goes. This is a little cheaper and probably doesn't have as long of a charge up time for travel drive if any at all i think though because this is a large ship it probably is going to have a ramp up time regardless but yeah why don't we go with this drive instead um i we don't need the mark three thruster some work oh that's hold on what the hell's going on here it's looks like somebody in our own group it is. Where are they? Um, very foolish of them. I'm not sure where they are at, though. Oh, there they are. Oh, you are so dumb, dude. You are like an absolute moron. Uh, okay, so let's grab all of you and go kill this guy. We'll send the scouts after him, too. Because why not? We're going to basically bring a gun to a knife fight here. Really testing my patience. Minotaur. Raider. You're really asking for it now. I can't be stopped that easily. Oh, yes, you can. We can give you more of that. You are so dead, Minotaur Raider. Say goodnight, crazy. That is why we are escorting our ships. Nice. Only the AI could be reasonably smart when they're protecting my traders. And the traders themselves, too, by the way. 
Uh, okay, so let's get up to around 200 meters per second and continue on here. All right, um, what were we doing? We were ordering a rattlesnake. That's what we were doing. Okay, my ship's large rattlesnake destroyer. I preset OG, except for we're changing back to a normal engine. Um, we're going to go with the Mark II thrusters because there's just, you know, it doesn't matter that much for a ship this large in terms of its agility and it's still pretty good for a destroyer anyway uh, but that saves us a heck of a lot of money right there um, so we'll go with that in fact we might even just go with the I mean there's a fairly significant difference between this one and this one but yeah let's just go middle of the road okay as far as shields go we're just gonna go with the split uh, mark two we could put a Talati shield on here it's not gonna give us that much more shield um, but a longer recharge rate and this ship isn't about shields anyways it's about hull um, that's one of the advantages to the split ships is they have the most hull the strongest hulls of pretty much any of the other ships as far as I'm aware even though the shields are a bit weak sauce uh, so we're just gonna go with this shield it's not gonna be worth the hassle to try and go put a Talati shield on it because we're not gonna gain that much from it I've already checked that in the encyclopedia uh, by the way now as far as weapons go we we don't have any choice we, we have to go with uh, the main battery because that's just what the ship comes with so we're getting four of those um for turret groups now i think i think what we're gonna do is for large turrets we're gonna go with plasma um because i i watched some videos uh like with um what's that guy's name captain collins i think and he recommends going with uh, plasma turrets for the large turrets and he actually likes beam turrets for the small turrets. And I think he said the reason for that was because the beams will kind of disable the smaller ships, sort of like um, like an ion thing. If I understood him right, I might have misunderstood him. Uh, but what they do is they kind of hold the smaller ships in place uh, so they can be taken out e more easily. I don't fully understand what he meant by that, and you know maybe I misunderstood him, but let's go ahead and just go with beam turrets. If I don't like them, then we can always upgrade, uh, hopefully anyways, upgrade later on to, um, to whatchamacallit turrets, flak turrets. Um, but we can't get flak turrets from Xyarth. Uh, we can only get those from Argon, or I think we can get them from the, the main split factions, but we haven't run across them yet, so we're just going to go with beam turrets for now. Okay, so for software, uh, we want a docking computer. We'll do all the fancy schmancy computer because I will be uh, in this ship a fair amount. At least that's the, the plan anyways. Uh, I don't know that we actually need a police scanner, but well, we'll just put it in there anyways. All right, now for this, we got full flares. I'm putting 50 laser towers in. Um, we're going full on repair drones. Uh, because, again, I'm going to use fighters for defense, so I don't really like defense drones anyways. Uh, so we're going to go with the repair drones. Don't really need to worry about cargo drones in this ship. And then we just have you know, a little selection of advanced satellites, nav beacons, resource probes, and laser tires. In fact, you know what? We don't really need advanced satellites. This isn't the type of ship you're going to go around and plant satellites. So let's just have, like, 20 normal satellites. Uh, and then, again, if, if we're setting up for a battle... We have uh, we can drop a bunch of laser towers to help with that. As far as crew goes, um, we're going with a full service crew, and um, yeah, we're going with full service crew, and that's it. So the price on this comes out to thirty three point three million, um, and we're going to need to bring in hull parts and turret components to make this work. So the first thing I want to do is I want to overwrite this loadout. And why can I not confirm the order? Everything should be there. Oh, add to shopping list. There we go. Okay. Um, confirm order. There we go. Okay, so we have now purchased ourselves a rattlesnake destroyer. That is so awesome. Um, all right, now uh, we still have 81 million, so we're still doing pretty good monetarily speaking. 
let's go also then to uh, the wharf here and we're gonna go to small ships and we're gonna get a fleet of 10 chimera heavy fighters I did a preset but let's just look at this again <clears throat> excuse me um these split mark fours or no mark threes rather no combat mark three sorry um they do have a combat mark four you know what they're well they are kind of expensive aren't they yeah very expensive um so the difference between the mark four is 503 speed versus 478 478 meters per second is still very fast um and i know you know this one gives us a little bit more like acceleration and boost speed but there's just a massive massive price difference here so i think we're going to go with the mark three combat engine for this um and still like i said still very very fast okay um Again, we're just going to go with the Mark II thrusters. I think those will be adequate. Um, I mean, yeah, just not not a huge difference for a pretty significant price difference. And remember, we're buying ten of these things. They're going to be expensive as it is. So we're going to go with the Mark IIs. Uh, shield generators, same thing. I don't think the Talati shields offer that much more advantage. And again, we have a pretty big, a pretty good sized hull on this fighter, so we're just going to go with the split shields. Now, here's where things are going to get expensive. Um, I'm going to put Neutron Gatlings on these, and we can have, we have a five hard points, you guys. This ship is going to just be a beast. It's going to be really, really expensive to do this, but oh my goodness, these ships are just going to tear the crap out of everything that comes into their path with these Neutron Gatlings. And yeah, we are paying through the nose for it, but that's what I had planned to do. Uh, as far as software goes, we don't need anything special because I won't be typically flying these ships at all. Uh, consumables, they got countermeasures. Um, we don't really care about satellites. I suppose we could maybe add some, I don't know, friend foe mines. It's just that I don't know that, they, it, that they'll use those mines on their own. So I think I'm gonna just hold off on any of that sort of thing. Uh, then they're going to have a full service crew. Okay, so let's once again uh, overwrite this loadout. So each one of these fighters is going to be 3.5 million, so pretty expensive, but um, this is going to be one heck of a nice fleet for us to have, a uh, very powerful fleet. Okay, so add to the shopping list, and then we're going to turn this 3.5 million into 35 million. Woot! My goodness, and we're going to have a lot of stuff to also gather up for all of these two. Let's confirm the order. And that brings us down to 46.5 million, but we're still doing fine. In fact, if we go here, it uh, looks like our station has made a little bit more money, so we'll throw that back in our wallet. We're still sitting at 50 billion, uh, which means we have enough money to buy an Incarcatura uh, freighter. If you guys commented on the freighter from the last episode, I have not seen those comments yet, by the way. Um, but from where I sit, it seems like the Incarcator is, is our I best. I was asked to drop my card. Oh, here we go again. For Pete's sake. Hold on a second. Pause the game. Who's in trouble now? Hopefully it's somebody near us. Stupid pirates. Um, I can't tell who it is. Here, let's do this. All right. We're going to have to unpause the game for a second. Okay, it's Trader 3. Uh, being harassed by a cock queen's guard? Uh, no, by another Phoenix Sentinel. They're they're getting even with us now. Okay, that could not be good. And these guys are already busy over here with some other enemies. So I think what we're gonna have to do here to if we're gonna be able to save this ship. Okay, let's bring up the behavior. And I think what I want you to do is go through this gate 
and dock at this smart chip factory. So remove all orders. Dock and wait. The thing is, though, is it might go back into its flea command, so we might also need to uh, tell it to ignore. Because if it tries to flee, and one of you guys even told me in the comments that the flee command is kind of buggy, and I believe that with all my heart because <laughs> I've seen it be buggy. Uh, we just want him to ignore it and get out of there and dock. And hopefully he'll survive. Uh, he is very close to the gate, so let's see what happens. Of course, the is the Queen's Guard coming after us too? I don't know. They are busy with the other ships. Uh, go through the gate, please. Thank you. Good. Okay, and then the fighters. Um, well, those fighters are kind of in trouble, aren't they? Can can we save the fighters by? We are in Heretic's Inn, right? Let's also tell them... Yeah, I don't think they're going to survive. I, they probably won't even be able to get out of there. I mean, let's try it. There's, let's tell them to ignore. I got to remember to set this back, though, after this is all over. Remove all orders... And they should just fly directly to <clears throat> our ship if they don't get killed on their way out, like that one just did. Come on, dude. Just get out of there. I don't think he's going to make it. He might. That was a, a little bit much for them to handle. Why does it say there's only nine chimeras in production? Yep, we lost them. Okay, well, that happens. We have one of the fighters anyways. Okay, I'm just going to leave him there for now. I'll come back to him and get him started again later because I'm trying to focus on doing this other stuff. And I don't multitask very well. Never have. Probably never will. Anyway, let's go back to here. Now, why? Oh, because we already have one Chimera built. That's why. Okay. That's even better. Look at that. Our first Chimera, ladies and gentlemen. With our split pilot. Look at the guns on that thing. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. This is so awesome. They're, they're really badass looking fighters, too, I think. Okay. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, I think it's time for us to wrap up this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend off-camera time delivering all of the stuff that we need to get our Rattlesnake and our other Chimeras built and get that fleet up and running and the tentative plan for the next episode will be then we're going to take our new, uh, our brand new shiny fleet and we're going to start attacking pirate stations, um, starting with this SCA station here. Um, I want them out of my territory and we need to start taking the fight back to them because they are just being a royal pain in the butt. Excuse me. So that is the tentative plan. And we'll see how things go in the next episode. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.